excellence to me. Today, I have got an opportunity to deliver a lecture on circulatory system. What is a circulatory system? The system that circulates or supplies the blood to our whole body is called circulatory system. Humans have a well-developed and efficient circulatory system. It consists of blood, blood vessels and a thick muscular organ called heart. Next. Now let us see what we are going to learn about in this lecture. We are going to learn about heart and blood circulation. Heart. Heart is a thick muscular organ which acts as a pump of circulatory system supplying the blood to our whole body. Heart is located between the lungs a little to the left. Its size is roughly equal to a fist. Heart is made up of muscle with a dual protective layer. There are two internal sections in heart and connected with each other. First is the left section and second is the right section. Left section contains the oxygenated blood received from the lungs. And the right section contains deoxygenated blood to be sent to the lungs. Each section, the left section and the right section, has two chambers. The upper two chambers called the atria. Each one is called the atria, and the lower two chambers called the ventricles. Next. Now let us see the internal structure of the heart. Human heart consists of four chambers. The upper two chambers called the atria, each one is called the atrium, and the lower two chambers called the ventricles. The right atrium and the right ventricle are connected through a tricuspid valve. Tricuspid valve consists of three cusps. Similarly, the left atrium and the left ventricle are connected through a bicuspid or mitral valve. Bicuspid valve consists of two cusps. There are also wells at the opening of the pulmonary trunk and the aorta. These are called the pulmonary well and the aorta well. Here is the superior vena cava. Now let us see what is its function. Its function is to carry the blood from the superior parts of our body to the heart. The superior parts of our body are head, neck, arms and chest. The inferior vena. Inferior vena cava carries the blood from the inferior parts of our body to the heart. The inferior parts of our body are legs, feet, uh, organs in abdomen and pelvis. Right pulmonary veins. Here are the right pulmonary veins and here are the left pulmonary veins. Let us see what is the function of pulmonary veins. Pulmonary veins carry the oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. Its vice versa is pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs. The aorta. Here is the aorta. The aorta carries the oxygenated blood from the heart to the rest of the body. And the last one is pericardium. Pericardium acts as a mechanical protection to the heart and the big vessels. Next. Now let us see how does our heart function. Both the atria expands, both the atria expands and the blood enters the right atrium through vena cava and the left atrium through pulmonary. After the blood enters the atria, then atria contracts and the blood and the valve is open and the blood enters the ventricle. Here are the ventricle, the right ventricle and the left ventricle. After the blood enters the right and the left ventricle, both the valves close so that blood can't go back to the artery. After this ventricles contract and the blood goes out to the lungs through a pulmonary artery and to the rest of the body through your artery then expands and the cycle starts again. Now let us gain some information about heartbeat. How does heartbeat occur? Heartbeat occurs due to the rhythmic expansion and contraction of the heart muscles. Normal